freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are well. Um, yeah, so for those of you who have seen my content before, uh, I, I delivered to the Queen's Jubilee. And back then, whilst doing the Queen's Jubilee, I, I said, whether it actually made the cut or not, I can't remember. But I definitely said that the Jubilee was a blueprint for her eventual death. Uh, I don't think anyone was expecting it to be quite so soon, but um, yeah, so essentially everything everything that happened at the Jubilee is uh, is in line to be happening again for uh, for the funeral. Today is Thursday, I think it's Thursday, yeah, Thursday the 15th. So she died seven days ago. The funeral was on Monday and all this week Myself and colleagues, uh, not just people who I work with, but loads of people from different industries have been going into Hyde Park and into Southwark Park and all these other parks. And tomorrow, a couple of our guys are going to Westminster Abbey, and we're we're essentially doing our small part in ensuring everybody has a somewhat comfortable time. We're only delivering portaloos. <laughs> it's not like it's important, but. Then again, it is also quite important because there are thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people queuing up to see the Queen. And it was reported on the news today that the, the current line is about four miles long to see the Queen and estimating 30 hours, 30 hours, just to, just, you know, to go and see the Queen. So yeah, long time. All those people need toilets. Um, just basic human right, isn't it, to have toilets on on site? So that's what we're, that is what we're delivering. We're delivering toilets, port loos um, I've already been into Southwark Park, done a load of toilets there a couple of days ago. Today we are going to Hyde Park. We've been there before. Like I said, it's it's almost like an exact blueprint for. Um, for the funeral from, from what happened at the Diamond Jubilee. So it's a bit of a sad video, um, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm not a massive royalist, if I'm honest. Um, I wouldn't say I don't believe in the monarchy. To be honest, I'm not that bothered, but I do respect the monarchy and you know, someone, someone who has been a massive part of the country, be it good or bad, has, has just died. And I think it's only decent that people show respect um, as I am. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Your Majesty, and God save the new Queen. No King, sorry, that's going to get used to. God, <laughs> God save the new King, King Charles. Charles the Third. Charles the Third. Yeah, it's really nice seeing um, all these portraits. Last Thursday, when it happened, I was actually in Birmingham every bus stop shelter, every, every LCD display like you see there, all had Queen Elizabeth plastered all over the place. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am like ham, I found out. It's not ma'am. <laughs> it's ma'am like ham. Um, yeah, her face is all over the place. I came into London two days ago. I was literally driving straight down the embankment of the River Thames. Um... Thames, straight past Chelsea Flower Show, and oh my god, it was just so quiet, just eerily quiet. So, I don't know whether it's going to be like that today or not. It's quite busy now, look. <laughs> it's quite busy here.
this bit of road annoys me because you lane, lane one goes off to the left but you get idiots in lane two that try and cut in last minute like there's a van up ahead doing it now we don't want to be sitting in this traffic look look at all these plonkers just staying in this lane just to try and get in last minute into lane one look look at them all absolute monsters <laughs> Get out of my way. Stupid. They should do something to that junction. Um, yeah, so we are in my new truck. I'm sure you'll see it at some point today. It is actually a little bit dirty on the outside. Uh, it's not been washed for two weeks. I wanted to wash it uh, Friday when I finish work, so I have been in it now for two weeks. Um, got some really bright interior lights up. Woo! But uh, I had to go for an inspection, so I didn't have time to wash it, so it really needs to wash tomorrow when I finish work. Um, and give the inside a clean down as well <clears throat> so yeah I'm sure you'll see the truck at some point if you haven't if you don't follow me on social media Luke C in a HTV on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff TikTok then um, you'll see it on there it's been on there for a little bit already so you'll um, if you want to see the truck a bit more follow me on my socials because I upload on there pretty much every day or every other day I think we want to bear right, but I think we can stay in the left lane. I think. Uh, that there, we just went past, that's where um, that car crashed at 140 mile an hour into the uh, train track. Unfortunately, uh, occupants died, I think. Or at least one of them did. Yeah, apparently they were driving up here at 140 mile an hour and they flipped and everything went, went onto the train track. Silly driving. It's this road you've got to be careful of. You get motorbikes, push bikes, just go all over the place, all around you, either side. Got a push bike going around this side now. That's a motorbike just there while well, you're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> this is, um, I, had a, I had a little argument with someone the other day, not the other day, the, the other month, regarding cyclists, because I said cyclists think they're above the law. And in London, they do. I'm sorry, they do. They cut red lights, they go on the wrong side of the road, they don't wear helmets, they got no lights on, don't wear any high-vis. <laughs> they just, they're just above the law. And there's this thing about bike users, cyclists having to have some sort of license plate holder or something just to like, recognize them, do you know what I mean? I'm all for, because then maybe they're stopped being a pain in the ass on the roads. I'm sorry, they're a vulnerable road user and they don't help themselves whatsoever. And okay, it might not be everywhere. Maybe in some places or some cyclists are fine. And I'm not trying to say all cyclists are like that. What I'm saying is, in my experience, in London in particular, they, they're above the law, or at least they think they are. Most of them, not all of them. So, anyway, sorry, ran over. <laughs> I always try to give as much space as I can. Like I'm given at least two meters space for that cyclist there. We're gonna have to go into lane one, so we're not blocking this clear, keep clear sign. We're just always keeping an eye on cyclists and motorists, make sure we're not cutting anyone up. It does get a bit narrow down some of these roads. But that, I've been up and down this road so many times this year, it's unbelievable. Motorcyclists now overtaking. Like, motorcyclists are fine. they got lights on, they've got helmets on, number plates, and they don't cut red lights. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the cyclists, the push bikes. They're the, uh, the dangerous ones. Is that a lorry parked up? It is. We're going to need a bit of lean tour, thank you. They let us out. Go round it, Mini. Just being careful of the motorcyclists.
It's a bit tight down this bit, so I'm taking up both lanes, but then you've got to be even more careful. Two motorcyclists going down the left side. That's what I was going to say. Well, I don't know, maybe I already have, I don't know. I've lost track of this week. There's hardly any horn blasting. I've not heard any horns honk. Motorcyclists actually honk their horns a lot, I find. A cyclist there. But there's hardly hardly any horn blasting that I've heard either today so far or, or last time I was here two days ago. They've probably changed now at some point, but I've not heard any horn blasting whatsoever. We've got people crossing at a green light. Stop it. I'm going. Thank you. Just giving this cyclist in front plenty of space. That's the other thing. You could overtake them, but they're probably just going to overtake you back again, so you might just sit behind them. That's what I find anyway. They actually go pretty quick, so... Typically. One can see why people cycle in London and city centres. I'll put my right indicator on because I'm getting over a little bit. What's this guy doing? Girl doing? Come on. Keep pedalling. Cyclist going to go for a red light? Yeah, of course you are. Of course you are. Because no one's going to tell you otherwise. If I go for a red light, three points, sixty pound fine. Or is it more now? I don't know. There was a cyclist on my driver's side about 30 seconds ago, I can't see him now. I'm just editing a video and this is the, the bravest pigeon I've ever seen. Watch this. There was a cyclist on my driver's side. About 30 seconds ago, I can't see him now. <laughs> That's a brave pigeon. Hang on, let's go back. Let's go back and watch this. Look at it. <laughs> That pigeon could not care less. Can I come in frame by frame? I thought it ran over it to begin with and then, nope, hello. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Is he coming down now on the left side? Do, do, do. Oh no, he stopped. Stopped at the back of my trailer. Okay, there's a horn blast. I think he just had to go at the car behind me. It looked like he stopped at the back of my trailer, which then there's a car there, and that was a horn blast from the car behind, so I think he was talking to the driver. <laughs> That car's just gone for a red light. Well done, mate. You're on camera. There's another one. Are you going to go through cyclist? No, he's going to stop there. Got a cycl motorcyclist on the left. Right in my blind spot. If I didn't see him come down just now, I can't see him. I can't see him. I know he's there, but I can't see him. So now I've got cyclists on the left and the right of me. There's three cyclists. One, two, three, we're clear. Three cyclists, one of which was a motorcyclist. Oh, no American. 
Right, this is where it gets a bit awkward because up ahead we need to bear left. Obviously we've got motorcyclists and cyclists on the left side. Is that my colleague? That is my colleague, Rich. We're going to get some horn blasts. <laughs> We're going to get some horn blasts. I got air horns on this truck and they are well loud. <laughs> Sorry, probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Everyone was everyone's looking. Right mate, have a good luck. <laughs> right. It's extremely childish loop. Stop. Everyone likes a honk. Let's get some tones going. Right, we're bearing left. It's all clear on the left. Red light, great. Thank you. Hey! Finally turned green. a bit narrow but we get it through not a problem there's a lot of uh, a lot of horse crap on the floor it's getting my wheels dirty anyway I was told the police apparently running it running it this time We are going to go. Hiya. Hiya, stop at the uh, black tent for me, get your presentation, please. Will do, thank you. Black tent. Afternoon. Yeah, not bad, mate. They got a they got a stadium up. Look, I think this actually might be like a giant screen for people to watch the food or like a, a like a viewing area. I think. I think that's what they're doing here. Because, yeah, it's just, that's a television screen. Those speakers are for the broadcast. Got the old giant screen up. Some toilets over there. Right, right mate. <laughs> mate. I might get told off for hogging my horn. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, these are giant screens. You see them at Formula One. Oh, talking to Formula One, I've just been and paid for tickets. It's <laughs> disgraceful how much I've just paid for tickets for Formula One and camping for five nights. We're talking like close to 4,000 pounds. It's mad. Here are the toilets. What's that? All the toilets down there, look. Is it? Can't be a bar. Is it a bar? I don't know. Satellites. Ooh. 
We are currently in an open Hyde Park. I don't see a forklift, mind you, not yet, anyway. That's another giant screen facing that way. I reckon they're going to get another lorry facing this way as well, potentially, I don't know. Right, I'm going to turn the engine off. I think, uh, I think we're just waiting here for a little bit, potentially. Not sure. I'll go find out, see you in a bit. So we've got six, six coming off here. They're just being put here for a second, just for some port -a-loos. Little, uh, little area. We've got loads of port -a over there as well. I think we're gonna create a different block somewhere with the rest, with the rest of the ones I've got. But yeah, there's the new truck. So they just told me they had, a, they had about 2,000 people in here on a couple of days ago and they had all the toilets in or some of the toilets in and actually none of them got used so there's an awful lot of toilets here and yeah it's been confirmed there's a load of big screens around here and essentially anyone who wants to watch the uh, the funeral on monday um come to hyde park because you can watch it on a giant screen and uh yeah i imagine it's gonna be quite a sad place to be on monday to be honest with you so yeah, there's one there. Although it's facing the wrong way, I think. I don't know, I might be wrong. But there's one there. And then there's another one there, look. Another one there. Yeah, there's at least at least three or four here, I believe. But they are, they're cool to me because they're all on um, Arctic trailers. You see them at Formula One. It might be double sided, I'm not sure. But the speakers are only facing one way. The speakers are kind of a giveaway as to where the TVs are to be honest with you but yeah this place is going to be absolutely rammed with people uh, on Monday absolutely rammed and then we're just putting toilets on over here look. anyway the rest of these apparently are being moved to another toilet block area somewhere over there not sure where and then from here we're going back to the yard this is going to be a short video this is just me Kind of show my respects really to the Queen. May she rest in peace. But uh yeah, a bit of rubbish really, isn't it? Anyway, hey, let's go and have a look at this screen. I want to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's as I thought. So the speakers are facing this way, but the screen's facing the other way. There's no screen there. It's a bit strange. I think the lorry needs to be turned around. Or they're yet to put the screen on. That is could that could potentially be an option. But the screen is definitely 100% on the other side. You can see the LEDs. There you go. Yeah, the screen is definitely 100% this side. But the speakers are that side. It's a bit weird. Never mind. Is that a crow? Are you a crow? You can't eat that, mate. Where are you? There you are. Mate, that's tinfoil. I don't think that's going to be any good for you, mate. Right. I believe we're about to be escorted out. We've got to somehow spin round. For some reason, our heating system is making a really weird noise. Go 
So I'll try and keep off the grass as much as possible, but I'm gonna have to go on the grass at some point to get the trade around. Should be able to go straight back and then turn right. There we go. Yeah, my heating matrix is actually off. It's not even on. Now it's on. It's making really weird noises. I don't know why. It's obviously something stuck down there. He's having a good old jet wash let of these sides. Keep them nice and clean. Yeah, it's not mega mega busy with pedestrians it's quite quiet I imagine they're all obviously elsewhere at the moment I imagine that is the case Lots of people there. Are you going to Constitution Hill? No. No, I'm going home. <laughs> See you later. Right, yeah, so this is where the traffic is a nightmare to get out of. No one wants to let you out. You really do have to bully your way out of here. Because no one will let you out. Thank you. They're trying to close the gates behind me. Thank you. Yeah, unfortunately you have to bully your way out. I was no one to let you out. That van didn't want to let me out. But that is the case with London. It tends to be the case. Anyway, according to the sat nav, we're going to be back in the yard for about 20 to 6 tonight. We've got to do a trailer swap once we get back. And then come to Park Royal in London tomorrow. So we're back in London again, but it'll be a completely different part of London. I imagine it'll be somewhat quieter. But yeah, anyway, that's been today's video. I think that's going to be it, unless anything else happens in London. I'll uh, keep my cameras on just in case, but if not, then I shall say thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, can get condolences to, obviously, the royal family and all that. It is a shame, and lots of people are genuinely upset about it. I understand there are also lots of people who aren't upset about it and don't care less. That is your right. I'm not here to debate or get into arguments with anyone. Uh, personally, I feel like, no matter who it is, they deserve a little bit of respect. So, that's what I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. I'm genuinely upset about it. I understand there are also lots of people who aren't upset about it and don't care less. That is your right. I'm not here to debate or get into arguments with anyone. Uh, personally, I feel like, no matter who it is, they deserve a little bit of respect. So, that's what I think. Anyway, thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon, bye-bye.